I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis and I'm going to start a painting today where the light is in behind the subject matter of the trees rather than coming from the front. The first thing I always do is check. What am I checking? Checking that I have my wire at the top before I start painting. The other day I forgot to check and I had it upside down which meant I had to rewire. So that's the first thing I do when I start painting now. The background colors are going to be blended in with the color that I start with. So this is something you can do when you want to use up paint on a, another canvas just to have an underpainting and I will just get to work. I've decided that I want the highlight to be in this quadrant here. So I will start where I want the highlight the most. Each time I pick up more paint, I add a little bit of a different shade of green or the yellows and a touch of burnt sienna, depending on where I am in the growing of this background color. It's better to try that than just to do the whole thing in one color because you get more richness to the, the distance in the painting. One of the things I also like to do is to paint my edges before I actually get started on the painting. And all you do is you take some paint on a heavier cloth. This is um, a paper towel from the automotive department in, in many of the stores and hardware stores in Canada. So you just put some paint on here and then you cut across the top and fill it in and then try and get the color just on the curve of the canvas. And once that that's done. You at least have put some color there and as you paint you can change the color with what you're doing on the front of the canvas. This is how it works on the top then. You just put a bit of color on the top as you're painting.
Now that I have my canvas covered with wet oil paint, I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to draw in the trees. The trees always start from the bottom of the tree and bring your brush up so that it gets thinner as it gets to the top of the tree, which is the way they grow. Before I do that, I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to just cut some very faint tree trunks in the distance because we are in a wooded area. So just watch how I do it. The other thing is do not bring all of the all of the trees starting at the same level. Have some coming in behind each of these growths of uh, underbrush in the foreground. This is also a good way to decide where you want to put your paint. You can put this in with the blade and then paint over it with the, the darker browns. I also use a little bit of mineral spirits with the paint so that it's not quite as thick as coming right out of the tube. I'm using a number 12 flat brush and I will be twisting the brush in my fingers as I get closer to the top of the tree so you can see what happens with it. Avoid kissing it at the edge of your woods. And if you don't know what that means, I have a video called No Kissing on Your Canvas. I'm now going to a bit smaller brush, a pointed one. This is a number three. No mineral spirits now, just the pure paint. 